guys, I thought I would take you on a tour of the two-dimensional portion of our annual art show. So what you're looking at here is the hallway outside of one of our four kindergarten classes. The amazing moms who hang our art show, they hang every work of art that every kid has made all year long. It's a daunting task. They start about two weeks, maybe a little bit before that, um, to start getting the artwork ready. I mean, most of the artwork this year was ready by me. Surprisingly, I had it matted and framed if it needed to be. Um, and then we have another mom come in. She preps the back side of the artwork, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And then they spend two weeks hanging it all. So what you're looking at here is kindergarten, a body of kindergarten artworks. This is, like I said, just the two-dimensional portion. If you um, check out my YouTube channel or my blog, you'll see that there were a two other places where kids had their artwork on display this year. One place being the Pirate Art Gallery. My kindergartners had a clay piece there. And then the other was the Glow Gallery. My kindergartners had three works of art in the Glow Gallery. If you're curious about any of these kindergarten lessons, this is still kindergarten that you're looking at, all of these lessons, many of them with video, that were created for kids by me can be found on my YouTube channel. Feel free to use them. We start the beginning of the year with a lot of study of line. The actual, the line project actually didn't um, get hung up. It was one of those things that we hung up at the beginning of the year and we just ran out of time. And looking at this, you can see, eh, we got a pretty good amount of work hanging up here. Um, from line, we also did the getting to know you paper sculptures, another lesson you can find on my blog. Um, after that, we talked a lot about rainbows. We painted the rainbow picture with the sun and the clouds. We did the alphabet paintings. Uh, the heart art came in February. Oh, we also did the works of art where their photograph was included, which was a part of a fundraiser. Mouse paint, those little golden and metallic framed works of art are filled with their color mixing activity and then little model magic mice. Try saying that 10 times fast. Oh, and then in the winter, they also did the snowman. So we were really busy. But if you see a project that you're like, Cassie, I need more deets on this, definitely check out my blog because I promise you, I've probably got all the details that you could need. Now, when they hung the artwork this year, they did something a little bit different. They um, hung, why am I just walking around looking at the floor? <laughs> Maybe I should edit that out. How it out? Okay, there we go. Um, so now we're moving on to first grade. If I were like a good person or whatever and not super lazy, I would have totally edited that. But you can see I'm not doing anything about it. So this is the first grade gallery. This is um, one group of artwork hanging outside of a classroom teacher's door. Let's just talk about that for a moment. We have always hung the kids' artwork outside of their classroom teacher's door. About three weeks prior to the art show, I sent out an art, ma art mail, an email to all of the teachers saying, hey, can you please take down any of your student work hanging outside of your room? This way, we have a blank canvas for the moms to work with. The reason I like having the artwork hung outside of the classroom teacher's door is so that the kids can easily find their artwork. This year, we made it even easier by, let's see, yeah, at the top you can see there was a little blue piece of paper that had each child's name written on it. Then going down vertically from that name was every kid's work of art. So all they had to do was look at the penguin and then the heart and then the um, mad scientist and then the heart weaving. Um so they could easily find their work of art. That was all first grade. This is second grade artwork. As my students get older, moving on to second, third, and fourth grade, they have fewer and fewer works of art, it seems. And that really bothered me for the longest time until I realized it's because we do a lot more in-depth projects. For example, that embroidery took us forever. That embroidery project, by the way, will be in my String and Stitch Lab book that's coming out in July. Shameless self promotion. Um, so yeah, this gives you an idea of what our kids are doing. Now let's talk about how this artwork is actually adhered to the wall because here you can actually see the deer mesh. We used to use deer mesh all the time to hang up student artwork. Deer mesh can be found online. It's that 
mesh that you see in the background, we used to tape it to the walls with gaffer's tape. Then we would um, clothespin the artwork to the deer mesh, and it would hang that way. It had a lot of pros. It was easy to clip the artwork up. The teachers could take it down easily because I asked the classroom teachers to take the artwork down when the art show is over. More about that in a moment. Um, But the thing is, is that the gaffer's tape with the heat and humidity in Tennessee was never strong enough to hold up the net with all of the weight of the artwork. So sometimes we would come into school and just find the mesh in a tangle on the floor with the kids' artwork getting damaged inside. We gave up on the mesh. You can see that this this teacher has decided to keep hers because it's worked for her. But my moms who hang the artwork do this. I have one mom, and now we're moving on to third grade art, by the way. One mom who comes in and she will put bits of tape, flat pieces of tape on the back of each um, student's work of art. Flat pieces of masking tape. Then the other moms who hang the artwork, they simply add a little dot of hot glue to those flat pieces of masking tape and pop it on the wall. What that flat piece of tape does is it prevents the artwork from being damaged when the artwork is taken off the walls. It's really easy to pop it off the wall. So that's what they have found that works a whole lot better. It also doesn't seem to damage the wall at all. So that has helped us make sure that the artwork gets up and then stays up. Now we have some fourth grade artwork. Again, all these projects on my blog. Um, Something else I wanted to share was taking the artwork down. The classroom teachers are kind enough to take all of the artwork down, and they usually do it on the last-ish days of school as the kids are hanging out in their classrooms working on coloring and decorating a giant portfolio that our um, TAs have made. The teacher's taking down the artwork, calling for the student, and passing them back the artwork. They put it in that great big portfolio and take it home safely. Um, I've also talked about how I have my kids take home my clay projects. You can find the details about that on my blog. The portfolio is made from a folded piece of bulletin board paper with staples on the side. Our TAs make a class set for every group of kids. I've tried to cover everything, but I know there's probably questions that you might have. Please feel free to drop a line in the comments or shoot me a message on my blog. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Be sure and check out the other ones that are also on my channel.